I want bump, 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 bump. Many of you asked me in the comments for the second part of my hair story. Here you are. In return, you gotta like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you haven't watched part one yet, make sure to do that. I haven't changed my hair color anymore. Maybe just a couple times. But I've changed my hairstyles a bazillion times. In the sixth grade, I used to have really long hair. It reached, <clears throat> well, it reached the area below my lower back. I felt myself like Rapunzel. Rapunzel's? I mean Princess Rapunzel. Only the bug in this fairy tales was that I had to brush my hair at least once every three hours. Otherwise, I got a huge nest on my head. But I love my hair and I didn't want to do anything with it. I had dyed my hair to the point I didn't allow my classmates to braid it. Wow, you've got such long hair. May I braid it for you? No. May I braid one? No. Please? No. What about? No. Besides, girls, there are always boys. You've heard about some of them in my previous stories. So we had one boy in our class, or I'd better call him a buster. He was a bad student, wore sports suits instead of classic ones, and had serious articulation troubles. He often booked girls and broke. <laughs> them to tears. One day, Claire stood at the third desk. Is it final? You share a desk either with him or with Sam. Huh? Oh well, at least he doesn't stink. I was sitting with this buster and everything was fine. But then, I smelled something burning. <laughs> Can you smell smoke? Yeah, they might have burned a chicken in the kitchen. As you might have guessed, he set my hair on fire. I had to go to the hairdressers and cut the burnt parts. My new hairstyle looked like this. In three months, my hair reached my shoulders, but I wanted to grow past my lower back again. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The hair was splitting and I had to cut it over and over. In the eighth grade, I decided to experiment and dyed my hair with crayons. But these crayons were janky, like really cheesy. And I started to lose hair. Forgot to mention, I dyed not only my tips, but the whole length, from root to tip. And it was so cool to have pink hair. And then I had non. Joking, I wasn't completely bald. There was just some missing chunks here and there. That's when I learned about hair masks and all kinds of strengthening bombs. I've been using them since then. And my advice to you is to nourish your hair instead of spoiling it. And don't ever share a desk with a person who can burn it. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.